This is the look at the anatomy for the pectoralis major muscle. This is a large flat muscle which runs across the front of the chest. It has three separate sections. There is a clavicular, so this attaches to the clavicle in quite a broad attachment. So this is the clavicular section or branch. There is a sternal section which attaches to the sternum or breastbone and there is a costal section which attaches to the ribs. Each of these sections runs across the chest wall. So we'll take the clavicular first. Its origin is in the clavicle, it runs across the chest wall and attaches in quite a broad, strong attachment to the humerus. If you note, this is the highest part of the muscle and it attaches quite low down onto the humerus. The clavicular branch, when it contracts, will tend to pull the arm inwards and upwards. So this is a partly flexion and partly across the chest. The sternal is the largest section of the pec major and it runs directly across the chest wall and as you see it tucks underneath the clavicular branch. The sternal branch pulls the arm just directly across the chest and the costal branch which now you can see tucks underneath and what you have with the with this muscle as with many other muscles is the muscle has a twist that occurs just in this area. So the lowest part of the muscle attaches highest into the humerus. And this will pull the arm across, but with a slightly downwards pull. All of these attach over to the lateral side of the humerus. And therefore the movement is also that you pull the arm across the chest and rotate it inwards. There are three sets of trigger points in the pectoralis major muscle and they correspond to the three divisions of the muscle that we discussed before. The first set is, are in the clavicular branch and they will give pain in the front of the shoulder. The second group is in the sternal division. So this is attaching to the breastbone and there are actually two separate pain distributions. The first is just local over the chest and the second is over the chest and down the inside of the arm. There is another very interesting somatovisceral reflex which occurs with this trigger point here. And this trigger point, not on the left side but on the right side, overlying the fifth and sixth ribs, this is associated with certain types of cardiac or heart arrhythmias. So it's again recognized in the literature that people who have rapid, a particular type of rapid heartbeat called a supraventricular tachycardia, that treating the trigger may in fact improve the cardiac, the heart arrhythmia. There is one more trigger point which is in the free edge of the muscle and that arises from the costal portion of the pectoralis major. And when this trigger point is activated, you feel pain running across just the lower part of your chest. And in women, this corresponds to pain felt deep within your breast. Treating this particular trigger will turn off your extremely worrying breast pain. If you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification button.